Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, a question I've been seeing a lot since we've been selling more and more of these batteries is why don't I charge as high? Uh, before I was charging at 14.4, now I'm charging at like 13.4, 13.5. And I felt like this should probably be something addressed in a video that way multiple people could see the reason why. And this isn't anything specific to our brand, but I do want to show how your car acts to or sorry, how your car acts with a lithium battery installed. So I have my car going right now. I have my lights on to drain the battery a bit. I hope to take it about 20% down. I, I dropped a series one in the trunk. So um, in the car right now, we are only running a series one. Uh, I have stock charging in my car. So um, let's go see exactly what happens to the voltage when we start the car, what it's at right now. Um, and discuss some of the findings that way you know what to expect when you make the upgrade to lithium. Okay, so I'm in my car and I pulled up uh, the app that I use to monitor my battery. You can see it's about 20% drained. Um, I have about 2.2 amps of draw ongoing right now. And we're resting at 13.1 volts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the car and we will watch what happens. So my alternator has not kicked on yet, and it is just uh, the load of my car. And you can see a few seconds after it starts up, my alternator starts going. And I'm charging at 100 amps. And my voltage is only at 13.4 so a lot of people are expecting to see you know 14.4 as soon as they turn on their car but when these batteries are dead I mean it's going to take a fair amount of charging so uh, I'm going to go ahead and drive around for a bit well you can see right away um, as this voltage is going up the actual amperage from my um, alternator has dropped it's no longer at 100 it's at about 70 uh, but I will take some more video in a couple of minutes. I'm going to drive around so my alternator doesn't get too hot recharging this. Give it some RPMs. Okay, now on the, the freeway driving. You see it is up to 13.6. It's been about probably four or five minutes. And the voltage is continuing to go up. But it has been a bit of a drive again. We are now at about 88% of the battery charge. Okay, so you see we are still at 13.6. Uh, well, 13.61 now, and we are at a little over 90% full. And we're still sitting around that 13.6 mark. Okay, so we are still at 13.61. Um, we are up to 93%, but we still have that same voltage up. Just flipped over to 13.62. Still charging at about 55 amps, 56 amps of current. Okay, so we are almost full now, about 96%. We're at 13.64 volts. Um, so then, you know, it's still going up just super slowly, but hanging out in the 13.6s as it approaches full. Still charging at about a little over 50 amps of current. We are nearing full and at 13.64 volts. Okay, as you can see, we now have hit 100% and the voltage has already jumped up a pretty good chunk. Um, I've noticed my meter does not record its own usage, so it tends to be about an amp hour or so off. Uh, but my car charges to about 13.9. And you can see now that the battery is nearly full, um, the voltage will begin to spike. 
to already up to 13.75 and this is just sitting at idle uh, but the charging speed is also decreasing as the battery gets closer to being full and that is because well both the difference in the voltage that I'm charging at and the battery is closer as well as the internal resistance of the LifePo 4 battery actually starts to um, raise fairly significantly as it approaches full and gets to an actual full state of charge. As you can see we're up to now almost 13.8 but um, you know it's going up much faster now but during the entire time which was about 15 minutes or so um, it you know it was pretty consistent at 13.6 or below and so I feel like that's why a lot of people think that you know, they're not charging this high when their battery actually just isn't full. And if you've been putting, you know, a lot of abuse on it, if you are, you know, consistently using more than you're charging at, that's what's going to happen is you're going to notice that the lower voltage while you're charging until the battery is fully charged. You can see we're already up to 13.84 now. So, I mean, it's gone up more in the last, you know, two, three minutes since it's been you know, full than it has the entire time up to this point. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, but, um, you know, if I let it sit for a few more minutes, this would be up to 13.9, maybe even 14. Um, once my car gets warmed up, it really doesn't like charging into the 14s. It mostly sits at 13.9, so at that point you would see the the charging amps drop to zero and maybe even alternate back and forth between providing the current for the load of the car and charging once the voltage matches the alternator voltage. Okay, so we're fully charged. Um, battery sitting at 13.93 volts. Um, charging is slowing down. We are under 10 amps now. And then I'm going to show what happens when the car gets turned off. Now my car has a, a fair amount of draw for a few minutes after the car is turned off and we will be able to see that here and watch what happens to the voltage. Okay, so you can see we're still in the, the fairly high 13s but it does pull it down pretty quickly. Um, these batteries like to rest at about 13.3 or so volts normally, um, which with any kind of prolonged draw, like right now it's pulling 10 amps, it will absolutely get down to that point. And, but that being said, you know, we can see we've lost about 0.1 amp hours. Um, but let's say, you know, your battery is fully charged. Well, what happens when you start your car? So with a fully charged battery, well, nearly fully charged. So in this situation, um, when the battery is fully charged, it'll jump right back up to charging voltage um, pretty quickly. You can see we're charging at 32 amps again, but that's not going to last very long. Yeah, so if the battery is full, as soon as you start your car, within just a minute or two, you'll see the voltage jump up. And it looks like with the fresh start, it is actually going to push it into the 14s. So that's the difference. Um, you saw when I started my car earlier, it was, you know, 13s for quite a while. And that is exactly what's going on in most of these cases where, you know, you might be charging at a lower voltage than you think you should be. And why? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and be, I would be happy to discuss it. Yes, for a quick comparison, I'm draining a lead-acid battery right now. I'm pulling about 20 amp-hours off. The amp-hours remaining is not 
true. I just set it to 20 amp hours of storage so I know how much to pull off. Uh, but you will notice at about 59 amps of current, it has the battery sitting at 11.33 volts. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull these 20 amp hours off. We'll see what the voltage is and then watch what happens when we apply a load to a lead acid battery versus the lithium iron phosphate. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to charge this at 14.6 volts, uh, 61 amps of max current. And we'll see what happens to the voltage. So as you can see, even 20 amp hours down, the lead acid battery almost immediately begins spiking up very rapidly. Um, whereas the, the LiPo4 cells will have a lower voltage during the entire charge cycle, um, a lead acid battery spikes up very, very quickly. Okay, so <clears throat> charging it at 14.6 volts, you can see we've only charged back about eight and a half amp hours of the 20 that we've pulled and we're already sitting at 14.32 volts. Now, at first thought, it would seem like, you know, that's a good thing. Lead acid batteries will have, you know, have a higher voltage. But again, you know, this is just the voltage under load. As soon as we turn that off, we'll see the battery almost immediately falls below. Um, it goes down very quickly here. So another part to this double-edged sword is, let's say it's in my car where we charge at 14 volts. So if I set my charger to 14 volts, same charging speed, 61 amps max, and turn it on, You see, our charging speed is severely diminished. And the reason for that, notice it's not charging as high as a voltage anymore because the, the amperage is lower. And that's because if we're charging at 14 volts, Ohm's law comes into play. It does not matter if your charging is regulated or not. Your alternator can't provide more amperage than the difference in the voltage modified by the resistance. So since a lead acid battery bounces up higher, where the LifePo4 right now, we would be charging, you know, full steam because it would be holding at 13.5 volts. Um, so 14 volts would be enough to get the full 60 or whatever your amp, whatever your alternator amperage is. In this situation, your lead acid battery is actually going to be charging much slower because since that voltage is higher, from the, the the load or the the voltage of the battery while it's being charged is higher, you know, we take the difference in voltage, which in this case is only 0.15 volts. Um, with the life of four in the same situation, our difference would be over half a volt between the 14 and 13.5, allowing us full charging speed. So no, it's, it's not a good thing that a lead acid battery jumps higher because for one, again, the actual battery under load immediately falls below, you know, into the 12 volts. Um, and it charges slower because the voltage bounces higher. So it, it kind of gives a false sense of what your voltage is like. And this is why so many people with a lead acid battery have the issue of, you know, their voltage dropping down into the 11s very suddenly, but then it'll look like it's in the 14s when the base isn't hitting. So, you know, it, again, it looks like you're charging higher with a lead acid battery, but in reality, you are just crippling your recharging speed with the same problem that as soon as the base hits, it drops. So again, that is a, a brief recap on lead acid. 
it falls lower than Life Pro 4 with the same load applied. It also jumps higher, which again is just doing nothing but serving to reduce the speed that recharges your battery at. Um, you know, if I go now to back to 14.4, this will jump back up, but so does the voltage on the battery immediately. So now even charging at 14.4, I'm not getting the full 60. If I turn it up to 14.6, you'll see it's jumping, but so is the battery voltage so quickly that, again, it's just not allowing us to reach the full output speed of the charger.